Jack here, and I've got with me this digital two-in-one multimeter or multimeter and oscilloscope. It's got a really neat LCD screen, and full disclosure, it was sent to me for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. In just a moment, we'll pop it open, show you some of the functions on this multimeter, and talk about why I think it's a solid option. Let's check it out. Here's a quick shot of the packaging. Cool design, if I do say so myself. So it is a multimeter, multimeter, heard it both ways. Also has a waveform oscilloscope on there, a nice multicolor LCD screen, and many different functions. Let's open it up. In the package, you've got the meter itself in a nice carry case. More on that in a second. You have your actual leads here. These are the point pin style leads, just so you know. You can get the alligator clip style as well if you want to. We'll set those aside. If you do have a handy instruction manual. Be sure to walk through this and check this out as this is going to be your best friend and your best resource on learning how to use a meter if you haven't used one before, an oscilloscope, and just walking through all those different functions and features. Quick look at the device. I did put a screen protector on the display to keep that looking nice. On the back, you do have a flip up stand. So if you wanna rest it like so while you're working, you can do that. This does come off if you pinch here and pull off like that, allowing easy access to the battery compartment and three AAA batteries, which were included. So like most meters, there is two off positions and the dial is actually how you turn the device on and pick your different mode. If you're unsure of all the symbols on the dial, check out this list as it will give you an idea of what each mode is for. So see right there, it comes right on. Your leads will actually be plugged in here based on the specific measurement that you're taking. If you're unsure of which input ports to plug the leads into, this table will help as well. You can see we can go through these different modes and it switches at the top letting us know what we're trying to measure and then back off. Now, if we go to this one here, this mode, you can see there's multiple functions printed there. And so those different functions there allow you to select the relative value, the peak hold, and then select actually cycles through those different modes. So you can see we went to diode mode, continuity mode, capacitance mode, and then back to resistance mode. You can see here we've got voltage DC, and voltage AC. You're going to want to make sure you're always on the right mode if you're measuring voltage. We're going to do a couple measurements here in a second, but one of my favorite measurements to do, just a simple one, is your continuity check. So we're going to go ahead back over here. We're going to go through select to continuity. We'll set this down and we're actually going to set up our leads. So I went ahead and set up the leads like so, and you'll see the sound icon is on there. So we are getting a sound notification. So we are getting sound to let us know when continuity is made. Now to do a simple measurement of AC voltage, you're gonna make sure that you're on the AC side. And then if you go ahead and take your power plug, you can carefully insert each of the prongs into the outlet, and it'll beep and give you a measurement of the power. While in voltage measurement mode, if you'd like to see what it looks like in scope form, simply hold down the R button for two seconds, and there's your oscilloscope. Now I'm not claiming to be an electronics expert and there's obviously a lot more you can do with a multimeter such as this one and an oscilloscope. Hopefully this video helped give you an idea what's capable with this device. If you've used a different meter or oscilloscope before, this is gonna be very similar. For any specific questions, do be sure to check out the manual as that's gonna be your best friend in learning this device, using it properly, and making sure you don't plug something in the wrong way that could potentially damage the device. All things considered, if you're in the market, I think this Vever is a really solid option. Option. Hope this video helped your purchase decision. Thanks for watching.